I didn't do it. Uh, oh. What the? What is this? It appears the Sony protected us during the crash. He must not reach the clock. Thanks for the help, guys. What? I'll give them back. Ratchet, we do not have a lot of time. Destroying the Armada will not keep Nefarious away from the clock for long. There's no time to contact Galactic Authorities. That means it's up to us. Come on, there's gotta be a ship somewhere on this backwater planet. One can hope. Awkward cut suddenly. Hi, I'm Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. A crack in time. We were rocketed somewhere. Now we're here. I'm sure that's our wreckage. Probably don't want to touch that. I'm sure it would hurt. Um, but yeah, we're on this swamp planet. It's pretty great. There's a dude there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow him up. I'm gonna blow him up with buzz blades. That counts as blowing up, right? I'm pretty sure that counts. I'm out of buzz blades. So I will instead send out Fred. Uh, which is a pretty convenient sort of deal, considering, you know, uh, he's just gonna eat these dudes up. He's gonna eat these dudes up. It's very worthwhile using this big heavy weapon on tiny dudes. Very worthwhile, indeed. I'm not sure why that one box decided to jump away from the rest, but I'm going to continue to ignore it as if nothing ever happened. Nothing happened. What are you talking about? I, I certainly don't remember any sort of weirdness happening. That would just be weird. Who's that guy? Praise Orvis. I have visitors. Mm. Have you come to hear about the historic battle of Gimlik Valley? <laughs> Actually, we're trying to stop an evil mastermind from... Splendid! <laughs> it all started years ago, when I was just a child. Oh. Chief Zon Gribnak was manning his post at the Arundai outpost, when suddenly... Oh no! Desperate to protect our village, Gribnak led a team of undertrained, poorly equipped soldiers into battle. Sadly, victory would not be theirs. Chief Gribnak and his noble lot were captured, imprisoned, briefly pardoned, imprisoned again, and killed. Rude. The death of Zahn left us defenseless. Without him, Commander Argos laid waste to our village by destroying the Arundai Flotgate. It was a crushing defeat. Oh no. Oh, if only Zahn had been here to defend us against Argos. I guess you can't change the past. Huh. Ratchet, I believe I may have a way to help the Fongoids. And give us a ride. Head to that time rift. Sigmund, come in. I need you to stabilize a time portal into the Battle of Gimlik Valley. Accessing Brigus Almanac now, sir. Got it. Stabilizing time rift in three, two, one. Yeah! Cool. You know, something that does kind of um, raise a few questions here. Like, you know, if we're not supposed to use the clock to alter time or whatever, then why are we able to do this? And my basic theory about this is because yeah. these distortions already exist. Like, they're already corruptions of time, yeah. I suppose. So until they're fixed, I yeah. guess we can do whatever we want with them. Because why not? I, like, I don't get it. It's kind of a weird thing. There's just a nice little cave in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and break stuff because I am a vandal of the worst variety. Can I break the fire pit? No, the fire pit, as usual, is completely invincible. Anyway, let's travel through time. Attention, miserable creatures. This is Commander Argos. Pursuant to Article 17 of the Agorian Code of Interstellar Acquisition, this sector now belongs to me. Leave now, or face execution by firing squad. That's rude. Mister, mister, you have to help us. The Agorians kidnapped it our chief. Do not worry. We are here to assist. A talking lunchbox? Cool. Stay behind me, kid. We'll save him. Okay. Thank goodness there's ammo and armor vendors in the past that I can use. Oh, hey, I can finally buy this with 
all of my money. Um, I, yeah, I, like, I don't think there's any more uh, stuff. Okay, look, you guys are talking and it's great and all, but I'm gonna go over and take it. We will not be able to hold on the invasion. How? Without the chance. Who said you could stomp me, giant dinosaur man? I sure didn't. <laughs> By the way, while I'm at it, um, this particular area is probably my favorite location in the game to do some grinding. So if you wanted to do any grinding, uh, this would be a really good place to do it. Um, basically, what you do is you fall in the water and you die over and over again until you level up your weapons repeatedly. No, usually you shoot stuff first, then you die in the water. It's a very um, different thing. I'm wondering if I actually managed to hit that guy in the face where he is weak to lasers. I think that time I did, actually. I think you guys are weak in the stomach. I don't remember, actually. Yes. Stomach weakness. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can't. I'm out of ammo, kid. Um, all right. My goal isn't really to grind here, but um, I am going to take advantage of the high experience yield, obviously, by killing all of the dudes. And not dumbly falling in the water, you know, that would just be silly. That's unfortunate, that thing you said. Uh, something's gotta level up. Get out of here, guy. Nobody invited you to this place. Also, by the way, I know I'm, I didn't buy the armor or anything, but, um... I'm getting there. I noticed that I, I would like to have at least a little bit of money so I can rebuy ammo if needed, so figure it would be worth, um, you know, killing some dudes first. <laughs> Essentially, this segment ends, I believe, once you kill all the dudes, or once you get to a certain point, I think. Also, that was quick. Like I said, these guys give a ton of experience. Please level up. Thank you. Congratulations. You've upgraded to the spiral of carnage. Two additional efficient capacitors have been added to your weapon, allowing for three simultaneous energy spirals. Basically, it becomes even more OP than it already was. <laughs> it's pretty great. All right, now that that's leveled up, let's uh, do that. That sounds like a fun time. Cryo mines. Sure. Why not? Uh, I'm just gonna throw a bunch of them out over here. What an unfortunate situation that you guys are in. That shield just didn't even know what the heck to do. Alright, alright, okay. Uh, test the spikes and that. Okay, everybody here is all leveled up. I'm gonna go ahead then. Um, Buzzblades. Buzzblades could use a level or two, as usual. I'm starting to wonder if the cryo mine actually only counts kills if you kill already frozen dudes. I suppose that's entirely possible, because it didn't seem to be doing a whole lot beforehand. It didn't seem to be, but I, I can't exactly tell, because, I mean, the cryo mine, not the greatest of things. I'm going to die again, actually. I mean, again, I'm not really trying to grind here. It's just uh, an unfortunate side effect of, um, you know, just uh, being super good at this game. Dynamo, you need to level up also. All right, like, come on now, thanks. <laughs> Let's get everything to V5 on accident. Accident, of course. Congratulations, you've just upgraded to the Dynamo of Devastation. Each dynamo is now equipped with a magnetic coil guaranteed to attract and destroy your enemies. Neat. So that means I don't have to aim it anymore, right? That's what it sounds like. <laughs> so, uh, I kind of would like the buzz blades to get up in levels if possible. 
Something about lunchbox. I, I don't know exactly what the guy said. There's more dudes up there on the uh, little upper platform area, so I'm gonna go up there and get give them the nicest hello I have ever given anyone. Actually, it looks like it's just one dude unless more spawn in, but uh, you know how that works. Here, buddy friend, have a time bomb. That thing that I really just don't use. It makes you easier to hit, actually. Unsurprisingly. <laughs> I am sorry, friends. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, murder y'all. I hope you don't mind. Man, time bombs actually work out pretty well when you uh, use them effectively. It's yet another incapacitation sort of weapon. Because, you know, we needed more of those. It's not really a weapon, mind you, but... Um, I believe over there is the place where this segment reaches its end. Um, your little circle thing is, like, embedded in your chest slightly. I'm not sure how much I like that. I'm not going to be able to do anything about those guys. However, if I can run up and freeze them, that might be good. Might be good. Let's get rid of the shields. Get rid of the shields, I said. I said get rid of the shields. Congratulations. Thanks. You just upgraded to the Plasma Slayer. This modification enables you to fire armor-piercing rounds. Armor-piercing? That sounds great. Well, since I don't have to use that anymore, let's buzz blade. Buzzing the blade. It's a fun time. Unacceptable. Yeah, like I said, this is a place of level ups. It's pretty great. Um, I'm wondering if I can't get the buzz blades and maybe the shotgun up before the end of this. Well, I can get the cryo mine up to level four. That is good. I think my buzz blade stopped for a moment. I was sad about things. Everybody has shields now. Why does everybody have shields now? I didn't approve of such things. Friends, chill out. <laughs> now that everybody has chilled out, um. Don't kind of want buzz blades, actually. Buzz blades are a very fun thing. Dude. Yurik, what are you doing out of the shelter? Your mother will be very disappointed. But this Lombax is here to help us. I'm Ratchet. This is Clank. I'm Zon. This is Toofer and Enot. Yurik, go take shelter with the others. We'll protect the floodgate! I'm sure you will. Oh, good! Hydra tanks! Just what I needed. Ratchet, those Hydra tanks are attempting to destroy the floodgate. Rude! And etc. Uh, oh, right, I am out of ammo with that. So let's go ahead and upgrade this, I guess. Well, I mean, I would if it actually worked, but, you know, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so yeah, you actually get two rounds of this, so if you actually do go to the second one, although I don't think it's as good as the first, um, you can still get a fair bit of experience here. I think at this point, the only thing I'm really not gonna quite finish is probably the Rift Inducer. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. It'd be nice if I could, but I mean, I'm not gonna count on it. It's just man, that pink <laughs> mega constructor shotgun. Again, nothing special, just more power. Just us, chief. Can I get the negotiator to also level up? Since well, also I don't even have the magnet level up, which probably makes some attempt at getting that going. That might be a good plan of some sort. Oh, that guy's just frozen in a very unfortunate situation now, isn't he? Hello, Hydra Tank. How are you? Oh, he's gonna do that thing. 
Ow. Alright, so you gotta remember, these guys have like a little shockwave. No, they don't. Why don't they have a shockwave? Is that strictly just the one in the, the arena place? Because if that's the case, that's really weird. I mean, they have a shockwave now that, of course, that guy can just tank because, you know, whatever. Um, but still... Alright, well, I can just... You can just chill out there, dude. Uh, okay, Fred, look. It's not gonna actually do anything because he's immune to damage at this point. Just go ahead and... Uh, Again, sounds like a plan to me. It sounds like the best plan. Best plan in the world are plans that you yourself decide to do. I don't think this is actually doing anything. I'm not entirely sure. Nice job, Ratchet. You did it. We are down to our last hydrogen. Where are our armed forces? Still dead, Commander. And the floodgate has yet to be destroyed. Then I will handle the matter personally. We must hurry! If Argos destroys the floodgates, the entire settlement will be lost! I have no ammo, and you guys are talking, so I can't go to my quick select unless I want to be rude! Chill out. This thing is, like, so painfully close to leveling up, which is why I don't think this actually does anything unless I kill him. Or at least do damage, and also all my stuff is maxed out or out of ammo, so I guess here we go. You've just upgraded to the Blizzard Mine Glove. Your glove's Terra Frost dispersal mechanism has been modified to reach more targets, turning the battlefield into a winter wonderland of Basically, if I'm remembering right, they all just kind of have an explosion radius that'll freeze multiple dudes. So, I mean, it's kind of neat. I still probably won't use it much, but you know, we, we can believe in our heart of hearts. I really should probably A, not die, and B, get more ammo, so I can at least attempt to level up this stuff. Who's talking? I just wanted to inform you that there is new armor available at my shop. Pop in if you're looking Look, I, I'm already well aware, guy. I, I just want to go over here kill this hydra tank guy he's not particularly difficult so i mean it's just a thing that happens you know it's just a thing that happens here he comes here comes the shock wave here comes the fire wave here comes fred <laughs> as ever and here come the buzz blades ready and willing all right, see you later. Attention, Vanguards! This is Commander Argos. My offer to spare your lives in exchange for this valley has expired. Stand by for execution. Well, don't do that. That's rude. Commander Argos is trying to flood the valley. We have to get to the top of the floodgate. I think I have an idea. We have to find some of those vine seeds. I do not understand. How will seeds help us defeat the Agorians? Trust me. I trust you, Ratchet. You're dying, but I trust you. <laughs> I think I'm going to actually hold off on the armor uh, for the time being, mostly because um, the armor covers Ratchet's face, and that's kind of bothersome a little bit. Uh, I'll get it before the end of the game, but... For now. <laughs> uh, anyway, next time, I guess we're going to put a, the finishing touches on stopping whatever this is. So, <laughs> I'll see you later and goodbye. Ratchet's going to do some jogging in place. You know, it's pretty great.